The alleys of Seoul, once neglected by locals and residents, are transforming into spaces filled with art. We visited the urban back alley galleries, reborn as cultural venues. The neighborhood surrounding Chungmuro in Seoul's Piltong was known for filmmaking, publishing, and printing in the past. But starting around 10 years ago, related companies began to relocate elsewhere. But the back alleys of Piltong filled with dilapidated shops and homes have re-emerged as a hotspot of Seoul through the Piltong Town Project, launched in 2014. The aim was to create a new alley culture by adding artistic sensibilities to the history contained in Piltong streets. The conclusion I reached was to bring back culture and art. Where film productions, advertising studios and publishers of Chungmuro area left, we began bringing in music, art and culture in various fields. First, eight street museums measuring 3.3 square meters were set up along the alley leading from Chungmuro station to Namsankur Hanok village. The street museums made using extra space along the alleys contained works by famed artists, both from Korea and abroad. We wanted to make a street where, walking alone, one finds not a shop or an enticing restaurant, but rather works of fine art or great exhibitions. Works of art can be experienced without even having to enter the galleries. This is because approximately 30 works of public art by currently active modern artists have been installed along the streets. One work covers a five-meter tall parking tower, once an eyesore with a giant screen. A blue elephant was installed using rooftop space from a local pub. We cleaned and organized the most messy and unappreciated places to make a beautiful place leading to galleries. This naturally makes the environment cleaner for people who live here. Residents who had been opposed, concerned by the potential inconvenience, now actively support the project as they feel the changes firsthand. This project continues with diverse attempts and efforts for sustained change and growth. The alleys have gotten cleaner and it feels great. I used to pass by here, but I'll look around from now. A back alley of Changshindong in Seoul's Jungnogu district is also experiencing change through art. Filled with rundown homes, the neighborhood began receiving visitors with the establishment of a memorial for the artist Peng Namjoon last March. I don't often come, but I paid a visit because I heard this place is changing. I was in the neighborhood and happened upon a pretty building. I was amazed to learn when I went inside that it was the Peng Namjoon Memorial. The Peng Namjoon Memorial was established to celebrate the pioneering media artist's life and work on the 10th anniversary of his death. Why was it built in an urban back alley instead of a major thoroughfare? It's because this was where Peck grew up, from the age of 5 to 18. In 2014, the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport chose this Changshindong region for urban renewal. To gather opinions from locals and form the Pengnamdo Memorial during the urban renewal, the Seoul Museum of Art purchased this Hanok, part of the home site. Items exhibited at the memorial include old TVs and radios used by Pek, as well as diverse material to explore his life and art. It's a very small space. In that sense, it's a place to learn the connection between Peck's experiences growing up here and their impact on his later artistic activities. As a cultural venue celebrating Peng Namjoon, the memorial is adding vitality to what was once a largely overlooked alley. The formation of the Peng Namjoon Memorial has attracted residents from other places. This alley's image has also changed. This is why local residents have shown a positive response. Urban redevelopment, aimed at a formation of commercial districts, 
has become the dominant trend these days. But Saurus Bag Alleys are being reborn as venues for arts and culture instead. Anticipation is running high for their future potential.